long time since I did a vlog, I feel like. Am I crazy? Listen, we're all crazy. Is the point I'd like to make. Where's my phone though? The phone is gone. The phone's gone. Okay. Oh. This is the phone. You ding dong. Okay, we're off to a strong start. Yeah, so I think we're gonna do a whole day in my life today. If you're new here, this is the download. I have a few jobs. My day job is in tech. I do coding and computer programming. Tech job is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I do three 10 hour days in those days to condense it. And then I have a interior design business. And then I also do YouTube. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'm doing interior design and YouTube. And I'll tell you what, I have a video that I think is going viral right now. I mean, viral for me, like my level of viral. Okay, let me tell you why this is a big deal. This is a big deal because I am getting surgery at the end of the month. I'm getting knee surgery because I tore my meniscus and my insurance doesn't cover any of it. It's all gonna go towards my deductible. So I'm gonna be paying for all of it, I realized. I can't afford it. And I'm also worried that the same thing is happening to my other knee. There's definitely a parallel movement and I can feel it happening to my other knee. So I'm mentally and emotionally preparing to pay for two surgeries that my insurance isn't gonna cover. And I'm like, how am I gonna do that? And I always am putting out a video that I'm really excited by. I put so many hours of work in each video. It's like 30 or 40 hours total between like planning, writing, filming, editing, thumbnailing. I put one out a few weeks ago and like nobody watched it. Like nobody cared, which was like, I really was passionate about everything in that. And then everyone was like, no thanks, which is fine, which is fine. It was just a misfire. This is what happened. I got one comment. Listen, I read all my YouTube comments, which is probably not good for my mental health, but I got one comment that was like, can you do an organization video? And first of all, I have such a bad attitude, duh. My initial reaction was just like, no, that's not what I do. Why, I don't have, I don't know anything about that. Very bad attitude, I got a real quitter's attitude. And then I don't know why I just kept thinking about it. Over the next couple days, it was just one request. One person requested an organization video. And I was thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And then I realized that like, I do actually have a lot of opinions about organization, but they just don't look like the normal like organization tips and hacks that you usually see on YouTube. It's just like a very different system. And so I was like, okay, I could do this. I think, I think I have something to say. And I worked so hard and I did like way more writing for this video. I did all this research, reworked how I like structured everything. And my editor edited that one. Like we both worked so hard <laughs> on that video. But then at the same time, I'm working so hard on this video but I don't know if anyone will watch it because I have one person who requested an organization video. I'm gonna make a video that I only know one person wants to watch and that I don't actually know if I have like much good to say. Then at the same time, my YouTube manager reached out to me and then she was like, oh, well the contract has a stipulation where you have to get a minimum view count, which is a thing that they sometimes do, but I've never had to do before, where it's like contract says I have to hit a certain number of views of that. I have to, or else, I don't know, they spank me or I, they, I don't get paid. I don't know. I don't know what happens. We didn't even get there. And she was like, you have to hit this number of views, which was a number of views I never get. 30,000 is what I had to get. I, I usually don't get that. Every video is like 22, 25, why would I suddenly get 30? And I pushed back on her, I was like, no, I can't do it. And she was just like, you can do it. And I was just like, you're an idiot. But um, I guess it, she was just believing in me. So went forward making this video that I don't think anyone will watch, that I've never made before, that I'm not sure I have anything to say about, and I'll only get paid if I reach a number of views that I've never gotten before. Okay, cool, cool, good, good business decisions, Caroline. And I worked the hardest I've ever worked. And and then it started going viral. Okay, which I'm not saying this to brag. <laughs> Why am I saying it? I'm saying it out of a sheer sense of relief that I can likely pay for my surgery now. <laughs> I was just like stressing over this thing so much. <laughs> and it'd be so easy for me to be like, oh yeah, you work hard at something and you get rewarded. But like, I know that's, that's just not always true. That's not, it can be true sometimes, but it's not always true. So I'm not saying if you work hard, everything goes great. I guess I'm just saying that like, 
sometimes things will bomb and sometimes they'll go well. So when they go well, enjoy it. Cause my next one will probably bomb. This video will bomb. But everybody who liked that video, enjoyed that video, shared that video, commented, you, you've made my knee surgery possible. So sincerely, thank you. I'm really glad. And I ended up feeling really proud of that video, really proud. I think I will do a few more because all systems, whether it's interior design or whether it's web design that I do as part of my tech job or whatever, like designing systems around human behavior. That's what design is. It's not about like pillows and textiles. It's about watching human behavior and trying to support it. So my hair is kind of kooky right now, but okay. I gotta get working, dude. Those are my morning words. Yo dog. <laughs> Yo dog. Yo dog, what's good? I know introverts love being canceled on, but <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if twice in the same week is just I'm being a complete- Girl, do not worry. I'm honestly so overwhelmed with work right now that I was like stressing to do it. I'm on completely the same page. I was like, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> I do need lunch though. So yeah. A lunch and a coffee. Let's do lunch. Okay, sounds good. Okay, have a good workout. Bye. Bye. So no longer going antiquing, which is fine by me because I feel pretty overwhelmed with work too. I'm gonna be working till like 2 a.m. tonight. Um, but we are gonna go get lunch. It's a frivolous girls lunch. It's girls being girls. hallway it's just kind of become an accidental like storage for all the art pieces that I don't know where else they're going and I kind of like that it's chaos I would still want to change how they're arranged it's a weird arrangement right now I kind of I kind of like that it's loosey-goosey but I've done nothing in this hallway like the walls are gray which I, I will say I really hate but this is the thing with doing like room makeovers I found it's so much easier to just film things all at once so I'm like holding out to actually even paint it but I'm so over it now that I, I might just paint it. These are like some postcards my friend Monica brought from Vienna, which is actually where my grandfather's from. This is my sister Elizabeth and I. That's one of my favorite photos of us like scowling. Moody guy that I got at an estate sale. Senor, this giant patriarch who is my overlord. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. I look good though, like the best. Heavy on the mayo. <laughs> And she can bear witness to this, is that I have just fulfilled my destiny, is what just happened. We were sitting having lunch, and there's this guy sitting next to us, and he eventually asked me about my knee brace. He was like, the knee brace is such an interesting accessory paired with the headband. He was like, when I see those together, I'm like, hmm, that's a mystery. He said that. He said I'm a mystery. Play, roll back the footage. 
message. Walking to the gym and I just had a completely psychotic thought. I am amazed at how sexy I feel wearing a knee brace because I, I feel mysterious. I feel like, ooh, she has a story. What happened to her? I have sudden mystique. A knee brace is, is instant mystique. Wow. So mission accomplished. I'm a mystery. I need to do a little prep work for a new possible design project. I'm doing like a consultation with this client on Monday. I'm gonna look at a bunch of inspo and it's gonna be very generalized cause yeah, I don't even have a sense for her style, but just to get some ideas brewing so that I'm not walking into a meeting like completely empty handed. And like when she's saying stuff, maybe I can connect it to some stuff I've pumped into my brain recently. And then I gotta do some more editing. And then I'm gonna try and go see my family really quick. I have this, I don't know what happened. Listen, I've always been very focused on death, but especially in the last couple of years, maybe it was turning 30, I don't know. I'm just like very aware that everyone I love is gonna die. So I should just be spending more time with them. I don't know, that's what I'm thinking about a lot. So I don't know, I feel like I'm not saying anything terribly revolutionary. I wish I had something interesting to say, but I don't. We can't always be interesting, can we? Well, if you're making a vlog, you probably should be, but oh well. I feel like that's like the mantra of my life is like, oh well. It's like starting a new project. I have no idea what this client's style is. My goal is to, in the Venn diagram of like what they like and what I like, is hopefully to have some overlap so that it's exciting both for them and for me. I can be excited about all different kinds of spaces but I just want to find what that overlap is. So I have no idea really what direction we'll be going in at all, but to start off, I might search like a designer I like. Can you, can you search? Search, dude. And I'm just kind of pinning, pinning with reckless abandon. Okay, let's mix it up. Let's look at, no, contemporary office. I appreciate it. Ooh, appreciate, I appreciate that a lot. Yes, I do. I like that guy. Four chairs have like a very loungy area. If you're like someone who's taking meetings or stuff like that, or maybe your partner is also gonna work in there. It's nice to have a loungy area. I'm just like working on like just opening my mind. Cause like I wasn't thinking of loungy areas, you know, just all the different options. This is a cool angle of just a corner of my face. Cool. I feel like one of the most important things to think about when you're looking at Instapo pictures is like reverse engineering them. Okay, so I'm attracted to this photo and what makes this photo. And I kind of go through each of the elements and think like, okay, if I removed this thing, would the photo be as impactful? So for me, looking at this photo, like the desk, it's not the desk that makes it. It's not the chairs that makes it. It's not like the photos that make it. It's, it's this like beautiful, I don't even know what kind of wood that is. It's this beautiful wood built in that makes it. So that's, I think a really helpful thing just is to look at an image, you're really attracted to it. Okay, consider it and be like, what is, the, if I removed each of these core elements, at which point would it no longer be as impactful of a space? And that helps to really sharpen what you're actually like attracted to in the picture. Ooh, it's a hot day, girl. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick trip to the suburbs to see the fam because because we're all gonna die. Is this uplifting or what? Is this what you clicked into this vlog for? I, it's not depressing to me. I mean, I have a lot of anxiety around it. I, I, have, I have some obsessive compulsive behaviors, thoughts maybe. Like I used to be a compulsive prayer as a kid and I, I was like an obsessive prayer. And if I didn't pray when like, like a grateful prayer or like for somebody when the thought occurred to me, then like I couldn't, like I had to do it. There's, it was very compulsive and it was, it got to the point where it was interrupting conversations I'd have with people. I have to do this prayer and I had this whole ritual where like I had to do the sign of the cross the right way. And I had to like say like my end the prayer with these certain words and say it over and over until I meant it. And it was like, it got so out of control that eventually, I don't know how something clicked, but eventually I was like, okay, Whatever God I believe in, I don't think this is what they meant <laughs> for me. And I kind of, because it was so unsustainable, I, I did eventually break out of it. And I love my family. Like they, I think overworking a little bit this week, it always makes me feel dirty. It always makes me feel 
selfish and like my values are messed up and just isolated and like I end up getting a really icky feeling when I spend too much time working and the best reset is like going home to see my family and they're all here right now they're all hanging out without me how dare they of a tame greeting. Are you kidding me? Julia, you did this of Coda? Pages. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you don't like the one of Coda? I need to fix the Coda one. Coda. What do you, what's that about it? Wow, I'm gonna murder you. Julia, the one with the leave shadows? What the? Wow. Wait, can, am I allowed to buy these or what? This is the one I want. Julia, I'm furious with you for keeping this a secret. What is gouache? It's really thick like acrylic, but it works kind of more like watercolor. Is this amazing? <laughs> Coda's nonplussed. Are you looking at pictures of Shakespeare? No. Well, show me your phone. Got a bunk room, look. One, two, three beds in a room, three singles. Book it. Oh my God, Elizabeth, look at this fun sleepover we'll have. Oh, that is really cute. That's actually this. pretty look, cute. One, two, three, four beds in a room. Elizabeth looks excited. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, you're such a party pooper. <laughs> deny it. I deny it. Okay, we have this like rotating digital photo frame and this image popped up of Luke with his Pokemon binder, which is hilarious because look what he is doing right this very moment. <laughs> do, the bra do the brazen scout. Wait, which way is it? This is amazing. What is it? It's a freaking... Uh... Blastoise. Blastoise? Yeah. These are all individual Pokemon cards. Keep finding little buggers, yeah. Going up on eBay. Sure I'll post the eBay link, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is the coolest oh, pop art it. I've ever seen. Cool. I'm like, I tried hard, but I never like finish something like this. Yeah. Like I need to stop now. You know what I'm saying? And there's something about actually trying out like the, the phrase to like, well, just like try try your best. It has like a totally different connotation than like what it should be. It's to actually like try your best regardless of what the re end result is. Like actually, and only you know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and what will happen is you end up doing so much more than you thought because you're capable of so much more than you think. And like, regardless of the outcome, like it's still so rewarding. What do you mean gains? He said, what do you mean by you're going to get so gains? Do you know what he means now? Do you understand gains? No, but now I do. Do you understand these? Gains. just deleted my entire video. I was sitting here and I was running out of storage on my computer, so I just started deleting stuff willy-nilly style. And then I went back to my project file for the video that is supposed to be released in like eight hours. And then I've been not sleeping in order to finish making it. And also who cares? Who cares if I don't release the video? It's just like, it's just that moment of being like, oh, I could have been living my life, I guess. You know, work doesn't matter is the problem. My, I thought I deleted it and I just spent like 20 minutes looking for it and I found it. So great.
It's a cute boy on the scooter, you little scooter boy. Oh, he's gone. I've been sitting here editing for so long and it's Friday night and I'm just like, watching the, watching the whole town go party. <laughs> That's the hardest part of editing at my windows. Ah, total FOMO. Anyway, I have, I do have several more hours of editing left, but literally where am I going? What was I gonna do? I don't think I was gonna do anything. I think I was just gonna sulk. Okay. I'm supposed to be doing physical therapy for my knee. It's so boring. It's so boring. I don't wanna do it, but I'll do it. Why is having health just so boring? Ooh. You'll see how my workouts have changed. So I do a lot of working out on this channel, you guys know. You're get ready to laugh, okay? Get ready to laugh hard. I put my foot up on a little pillow. I just straighten my leg all the way. This one, I just straighten it all the way. Down, I press into the ground for six seconds. <laughs> Can you even tell that I'm doing anything? I'm flexing my thighs, are you impressed? It's very hard to believe that this is making my knee better. So bored, so boring to be healthy. In the supine position, what's a supine? What's supine? I don't even know what that means. That's cool, right? I think that looks pretty good. Very impressive. You thought I wasn't buff, but I'm buff. How many was that? That was like a million. One. You wanna watch the dumbest one? I have a relaxed leg and I just pull it up like that. Is that impressive? Like I'm pulling it with my arms. Well, how is this not working my arms? I'm specifically not supposed to use my leg or my knee. This is medicine. <laughs> Dinner break. Let's get those lined up correctly. That'll be fine. Put the bangs back because they are driving me loco. Something's happening with the hair again. I don't that I don't like. Not a fan. I'm gonna do a little more editing, but I think I'm gonna be done before midnight. Yeah, work doesn't matter. Work literally doesn't matter. And the danger of working a lot is that like, the more I work, the more I think that it does matter. And like the best thing I can do when I have a really heavy work day is to, like go out and go on a walk. And that A like gives me a nice break, it gives my eye break from the computer, but it also like reminds me to like literally look at the world and everything that's out there and like everything that's happening outside of my stupid little living room. Yeah, work doesn't matter. That being said, I am gonna do a little bit more so I can finish this video. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have decided to film today. I feel very scared of being irresponsible by showing too much working. Um, you know what? I'm probably gonna edit most of it out on this vlog and it'll, it'll be shortened into montages. And I like have to be reminded of that because I do think that like the more you work and the more that's the only thing you do, the more you think it's important. Um, which like you can, you can believe in your work. Like I'm proud of my work. I'm proud of what I do. And it matters to me and it's fulfilling but it also like is not life <laughs> as it turns out i'm not saving lives i'm not a doctor is what people keep telling me but i keep introducing myself as a doctor what's wrong with that mm -hmm.